Brian Sands is a roguelike tactical game in which you take on a role of an admiral of the space fleet. In this story-driven adventure, inspired by Dune, Battlestar Galactica and Foundation, you'll explore piece by piece the story behind the downfall of the Empire and your own story. Your primary challenge will be a careful selection of formations for the fleet in order to keep as many comrades as possible alive. The French studio Alt-Shift placed the project on Kickstarter more than a year ago and it rapidly raised the amount necessary to complete the work on the game. In addition to the listed titles, the developers were inspired by FTL – Faster Than Light. This game, released in 2012, has become a cult classic, a role model for many followers. Allegedly, the creation of French guys turned out to be more than a worthy spiritual successor to it. The action takes place in the distant future, where for nearly a thousand years the powerful empire has ruled everyone. This was possible largely thanks to the use of advanced artificial intelligence technologies, the so-called Omni. One day, one of these AI awakens our hero on board of a huge ship and reports that the character is a clone of an important imperial general. And now you need to figure out what is happening while the connection with the Empire and other Omni has long disappeared. The plot, in fact, is elaborate. We gradually learn new facts about the personality of our Imperial General. More precisely, his clones which are methodically spawned by the AI after every death of the player. Your flotilla moves from one stellar system to another, spending precious fuel. Along the way we collect resources, fight and participate in random events. The mothership is divided into compartments, one for the cannons, one for squadrons of fighters, and another one for flagships and cruisers that fly out to fight with enemies. The officers can be appointed in each compartment to increase their efficiency. Actually, the game gives you the option to quickly remove and reassign them right in the outbreak of the battle. Quests, dialects, random events, the world itself, everything is spelled out convincingly. There will be pirates offering to support the rebellion on the enemy ship, and the colony residents asking for help in restoring the ancient technology of birth control. Then we will find ourselves aboard the dead ship picking up a record from the already deceased crew members with a request, no matter what, to deliver their cargo to their destination. And there will even be a choice to take everything for yourself or fulfill their last wish. Almost every stellar system has special anomalies, with an accidental event resulting in either a big reward or a painful failure. The chances are about 50 to 50. But the probability of success of the voluntary expeditions to certain sectors to get more resources, fuel for flights or ship upgrades can be evaluated visually. We just have to select an officer and see how much resources he can collect and how many paratroopers sent along with him will potentially die. Thus, sophisticated selection of personnel is the most important component of success in crying suns. During the combat fragments, you will always be faced with a choice whether to send your fighters and frigates immediately to shell the enemy mothership and its individual compartments or to focus on defense. And more importantly, what to disable – ship's guns or a squadron compartment. In this case, you can and should use the environment, hide yourself in asteroid fields, loot the enemy under the fire of neutral turrets, and so on. Units of higher ranks have special perks that have effect on both allies and enemies located in the neighboring cells. Additionally, guns differ not only in damage and reload speed, but also in their core mechanics. Some of them can freeze enemies, while others can teleport any ship in any direction for a certain distance. All these nuances have to be considered if you want to carry on longer. Crying Sons is an example of mastery in the roguelike genre, which has an interest in setting and plot well-written dialects, characters and random events, feature rich mechanics that constantly challenge you, nice picture and atmospheric-centric.